Hey gang, Diana here. Thanks for stopping by today. This is going to be a probably a pretty weird little video, but I'm thinking this is the way I will record over the summer. Uh, it's super hot here and I do have my air conditioning going, but it's definitely iffy and my brain gets a little fuzzy in the summertime. So I did get this totally very cool, beautiful set from Hero Arts and um, since I don't have a lot of brain power I thought I would sit down and cut out do the die cuts which of course are missing right now but <clears throat> there goes my air conditioner here they are so I'm just taking this pad it looks like it might have come from Tuesday morning but it's pretty much just colored and textured or a lot of it was anyway until I started using it up papers and die cutting pieces out I'm going to put them in a pile boom about this um, why I'm making this video today is because I'm kind of burnt out and I'm not uh, feeling like myself I think it's probably a good bit of it is from the heat but it's also because your brain gets tired sometimes. I do think that keeping your hands busy is not a is a good idea. Well, the other thing I thought I'd get around to working out kinks from is this mink spray, mink reactive spray, and also the mink. Um, here we go. The mink uh, silk screen ink. I got a couple of silk screens and I'm sure you won't be able to see this. I've had it for a little while, I just haven't had time. So I'm going to let this dry. I feel like it's almost dry. Back to these, I'm still waiting for the mink stuff to dry. So back to these stamps. And I saw this great tip. I did break down and buy a Misty a few months ago and I'm really glad that I did because I'm really enjoying the whole stamping thing and it's very helpful. Oh, so let me concentrate and tell you what I'm doing here. Okay, so this is pieces that I cut out of there and I'm gonna stamp on this. You might have seen this on another channel, but I thought I'd share this anyway, because it's so great. Um, I remove the die cut. I lay in this the uh, stamp. In this case, it's this turtle from this Hero Art set. I close the lid of the Misty. It's over there now. And now I can replace this turtle. And it should be um, easy to stamp. I've tried. I, this paper came with this card kit. And it's really pretty and kind of sparkly. But I tried some, uh, I guess, dye inks on it. It didn't work so good. So I'm going to try this archival that should do the trick also i read that if you um use archival inks when you get a new especially as photopolymer stamps um if you pat them down with the black archival and leave it to dry you will get a better image so i did try that with this set um but okay so that needs to be maybe just oops inked up again so you can see I mean I'm just like going from thing to thing cleaning up some stuff trying some stuff I always have a list of kind of less important things that I want to try or learn and I have a new philosophy this summer that there's a, only a few hours I can be really a couple depending on what time I get up in the morning um, so you can see that now that's going to need to dry a little bit, but let me grab it out. I have some tweezers here. You can see that, wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, so uh, this journal page, I was thinking about um, that um, I'm not going to plant complain. I'm going to try not to complain this summer and uh, have an attitude shift. So uh, I did list things that I really love about summer 
and um, but I, I'm a really a mover person like I'm really productive all the time so summer this laid-back thing doesn't really do it for me but anyway I did want to show you something funny as I was flipping through this here's winter and here's <laughs> summer <laughs> that just cracked me up anyway <laughs> You know, I guess what I'm saying with this video is I'm all over the place as, and I think I'm even demonstrating how all over the place I am, but I am still doing things. It might not be finished things. I know a lot of you are maybe home with kids and schlepping them all over the place or, or you're battling the nine to five and then coming home to hot and sweaty kids and I think I've always said this uh, this is sort of what got me through those nine to five kids years is if I can think of something that's going to take me 10 minutes to do I'm, I'm like so much happier it's really not easy to do this stuff I, I know that we all know that. Nobody's saying it's easy, but it does. This is pretty. Woo! It's called Under the Sea. Fitting. Just, it's just really bad for my mental health if I don't get some studio time. And it's even this time of year when I'm super distracted and super hot. And let's see if you can see this. This is the um, spray, the reactive spray from Hi. Uh, what's her name? Hi, you swap. <laughs> what's her name? And I also used um, the printing ink. This reactive stay spray stays glossy. I think you can see that over the colored area. You can see it, and it's dry. I hope it's, it feels dry. I like that. That was the mink spray. And I did a few with the mink spray that I really, there's really no learning curve there. You spritz it on and it comes into droplets. I think what I would do for the next one is just, I would put a whole bunch of pieces to, of paper together and just go for it. Just big area. So you don't have like waste and you might be able to get bigger. Anyway, I think that, that these are really pretty cool. Here is, I had a little trouble with, should have looked more carefully. This is the silk screens. So I had a little trouble, a little learning curve on that. And I'll just make, throw these into my, oh, I wanted to show you guys this was fun. Um, butterflies. I saw somebody do this background like this and I just thought that is so cool because you, the first thing you see, at least I see, is the negative space. Uh, you don't really see that they're butterflies, but now you can look and see the butterfly. It's an interesting thing to look at. So I'll pop these into my tag journal and um, I finished this little card from my Hero Arts kit. So, I was just playing, I was having all sorts of fun, I did whatever I felt like doing. You might see these in the shop when I get the shop reopened later on in the summer. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this very weird format, and I'll see you soon. Oh, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you like this.